In this video, I show you how to recover deleted WhatsApp messages. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's go and get straight into this guide. Here we are on WhatsApp, and this guide is going to work both on iPhone and Android. So make sure it's right until the end to know all the different methods. So the first thing you want to do is open up your settings on both your iPhone and Android device. And once you're in your settings, you need to go and find your notification settings and so go and open up there. Now, if you're on an Android device, what you need to do is go and turn on something called notification history. What this is going to do is going to keep a record of all of your notifications which come to your device regardless if a message is deleted. Unfortunately this isn't available for iPhone but what will happen is if you have a low signal or something like that the notification won't be deleted from the deleted message so you still may be able to go and see it if you're lucky. So what you need to do is make sure notifications are turned on for WhatsApp on both Android and iPhone for this to work. So here's WhatsApp and as you can see WhatsApp has got the allowed notifications on. Now that's the first method. Now let's go to the second method and for that you need to go and open up WhatsApp. To get to your settings page all you need to do is make sure on the chat page and then in the bottom right you can go and tap on settings in the navigation bar and here we are. Then all you need to do is go and tap on chats just like so and as you can see we've got this option here for chat backup and what you can do with chat backups if the backup has been taken before the message was deleted then you can go and restore to that backup and you'll be able to go and see the message. The message will still be deleted for the other people in the group and the original sender um, but you'll still be able to go and see it and that's only if the backup has been taken before the message was deleted. So go and click on chat backup just like so. As you can see I haven't taken a backup before but if I go and tap backup now for example as you can see it's now backing up. So now all messages sent and received from my iPhone are going to be backed up onto the iCloud and there's an equivalent for Android as well. And there's also an auto backup setting which you may have switched on which can be daily or weekly so what will happen is if the message was deleted before the last backup then unfortunately you won't be able to go and get it because you can only then use the backup most recent one. If you're unsure of when the message was sent and deleted and you're not sure if it's going to be in the last backup then what I recommend doing is simply just testing it so either way all you need to then do to go and try it and get to the backup is you need to go and delete the whatsapp app go and re-download it and then during the setup phase when you're re-downloading and installing it it's going to go and say would you like to go and back up or restore to a backup and then you can go and restore to the backup if it was from iCloud or just locally saved on your phone on Android and then hopefully you can go and see the deleted messages if the backup did go and get them before they were deleted and if you're just trying to view or recover a single deleted message by a certain person then what I recommend doing is simply just asking them um, was there anything important because they may have just sent it to the wrong person or something like that and there's usually quite a reasonable explanation for it. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.